Well, howdy everybody. As promised, this is going to be my journey and my story of what happened with a um, abscess molar and the chain of events of things that went horribly wrong and then a happy ending. Uh, so if you're squeamish, disclaimer right now, if you're squeamish about talk of pus, blood, pain, some bad dentistry, you know, you might want to not watch this. I'm not doing this to scare anybody. I'm doing this to kind of enlighten people about how serious an a infection can be. Um, so, you know, if, if, if it's going to bother you, skip this video right now. Okay. Years ago. I developed a very bad uh, abscess on my very back left lower molar. Um, it had broke off and then developed a bad infection very rapidly. So I got into the only place it would take me, which was this um, uh, clinic, you know, where the students do the work. Uh, and it was, it was low income, which it had nothing to do with this whole story. But anyway, that's all I could afford to get into. Um, and because it was so bad, they didn't even put me on antibiotics before, um, which every dentist tells me they should have. Uh, they pulled it. And I mean, because my whole face was so swollen and all down here in my neck and everything, they pulled it. And then I remember him, um, and he had a hard time pulling it. Um, because I've explained before that I actually, uh, make, I actually, my body actually deposits extra calcium and bone around my nerve endings on my teeth. We didn't know that then, so it makes it very hard to pull my teeth. And then my roots are, I have extra roots and they are squiggly. Anyway, so he had a hard time, you know, pulling it and that didn't go smoothly. And then, because I was so swollen and there was so much infection, he actually was pushing up here. And, I mean, and it really hurt. And I wasn't all the way numb anyway when he did this. And I just, he said, you want me to stop and numb you up some more? And I'm like, no, just just keep doing it. Um, and, I mean, it really hurt that he said this is going to give you some relief for some hours. Then I heard him saying, he's packing me. And I heard him saying to an, another one of his his friends, I should put a drain in her, but I'm not going to. Which means he should have put an, a drain in because I was so infected. And he didn't. He gave me some antibiotics. He probably gave me some painkillers I don't remember of. Sent me on my way. You know, that day it's okay. The next day, though, I'm swelling up. And I'm swelling up to the point where I can't even close my mouth all the way. Because it's in my jaw hinge. You know, so it's all the way up here. My eyes all swollen and stuff. And, you know, I'm in agony. I call and they go, well, you're just going to have to deal with it. We've got antibiotics. Nothing else we can do. They didn't want to see me again or anything. So... Later that afternoon, I'm kind of rubbing, and I feel, I hear a pop. And I think what it was, is it, and like I said, I've already warned you guys, but I think that bag of pus, some of the tissue exploded out. And I got this most awful rush of the most foul-tasting, yeah, I'm running to the bathroom. You know, spitting this stuff out. I mean, it's copious amounts. Rinsing my mouth out and everything. You know, and honest to goodness, every time I would go to talk, I would get a rush of this foul-tasting pus. You know, and, you know, you're trying to spit it out because you don't want it in your bloodstream and you don't want it in your stomach and stuff, but you know some of it's going down in your stomach. Why well, call them again? They still don't want to see me or anything. So, 
I'm 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 done with this. I'm taking her antibiotics and stuff. And you know, it's just for uh, a good couple of months. It's still that way where every time I talk or do anything, I can I can taste this horrible. So I mean, of course, during that time, I lost weight because you know, first of all, I couldn't eat anything because I'm so swollen, and because uh, you know, it everything tastes so awful, and uh, what happened was it started infecting my whole lower jaw. Went to another dentist. Found another dentist. And he's, oh yeah, you're really infected. He kept me on antibiotics for uh, about six months. Um, and he was going to do this dentistry work. Well, the antibiotics were just keeping the infection at bay. Because um, I, I do bone deposits around my nerves in my mouth and stuff it keeps that encapsulated so it never all the way until those teeth were removed the infection i end up with four massive infections all through here and it had spread to to the upper part of my jaw too it got a point where all my teeth were breaking off you know, at the at the gum level, and um, the dentist that was supposed to help me, and he was gonna he was gonna get rid of these infections, and he was gonna pull pull uh, do the oral surgery and stuff. The day that we went in there to have it done, do the oral surgery, and my dentures were already sitting there; they'd already been made and everything. He didn't get me numb. Now, he didn't discover that, you know, even in all of his x-rays and stuff, that I had this condition. He claims that I'm just being a big baby about, about having this oral surgery done. I had him pull four teeth, and I was not numb, and I just couldn't take any more. And he was, he was so, I don't know, that whole day when he walked in that office, he was very just... I don't know, he was very abrupt, and he'd never been that way, and it was kind of like I was a big bother and stuff, you know, and thank goodness I, and, and if your dentist won't allow somebody to be in that room with you, find another dentist, because thank God my husband was in the room with me, yeah, he was sitting in a corner, but he can verify all of this, that I was not numb, the dentist is trying to shoot me up, he's not even hitting the roof of my mouth, it's running down that, Novocaine is running down my throat, and I'm trying to tell him this. Finally, he just gets mad, throws the, the Novocaine uh, syringe on the tray, and says, I can't do this, and he walks out. Even his assistant, dental assistant, is kind of like, uh, he refused to work on me anymore. And we even called later and said, you know, because we had paid all this money. He refused to work on me anymore. He also then refused. He wanted me to finish paying for the time that was booked for this oral surgery that he didn't do. And we refused. So he threw away my denture, which he, we had already paid for. So here I am sitting here, massive infection. A couple more years go by. Okay? I'm, I'm using... Uh, antibiotics to keep it at bay um, and it did um, but finally I found a dentist who on first time of doing the x-ray pointed out this condition I have and that's why I've had been having trouble getting getting numb no problem she can get me numb she can do the oral surgery you know, even though I have at this point in time dental anxiety, and they and they don't do laughing gas or anything, we can do this. They'll numb me up while I have my teeth cleaned. And she explained why you have to have your teeth cleaned before you're having extraction. It made perfect sense, you know. Uh, so I went through the teeth cleaning. She did all the oral surgeries right there in her office, which took her, and this was a massive four-hour oral surgery she removed because I have 
now I have dentures. I have full dentures on top, and I have a um, partial on the bottom. So uh, everything you see, this metal bracket, and this one, these are all my teeth. The rest are all dentures. They're still my teeth. I paid for them all. Um, you know, because your insurance only paid. If you have dental insurance, it only pays a thousand. You know, they won't even pay for for a crown these days. Um, and thank goodness, time for better at that point in time that we, you know, we could afford to have it done. But she pulled all of these, all of these that were all broken off of stuff. She kept me completely numb. They, she was, I mean, and no shots the way they do it. She would do the shots. The shot did not hurt, and she would rub as she was giving the shots, and it just spread wonderfully. She stopped a few times, um, and 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 re-upped them. And she's like, "Don't worry, if the normal came not working, we have some stronger stuff." And she kept me completely numb. The only thing, that, and she pulled all but the forefront here on top. Sent me home, used the tea bags even in the office to stop the bleeding. Uh, stuff treated me with some injections that went under the gum for the infection. Of course, a really heavy duty antibiotic. I healed up beautifully. Very little pain. In fact, I didn't even use the whatever painkiller she gave me. I just used the Aleve and the Tylenol. You use the Aleve and in four hours you chase it with Tylenol. And you take your leave again, chase it four hours later with Tylenol. You keep doing that, and it keeps that pain, you know, uh, at bay. Uh, so, held up beautifully, and then my health started to improve. All the other infections I had been suffering throughout my body healed up. My stomach, I was having uh, bladder infections. Um, I was having a lot of... Uh, uh, sinus infection and she said this was all caused from this massive you know because um, my white cell count was just through the roof too and stuff and you know it can cause it can cost you your life and I know a friend of mine who didn't didn't get an infection taken care of and, and she, it, it caused her heart damage and she's no longer with us you know um, you know uh I did tell a friend of mine, and okay, I'm gonna just be, I'm gonna be up front. If you don't have insurance and stuff, you can use fish mocks, and people don't want you to know this. And it is FDA grade amoxicillin. It's called fish mocks. You know, mocks is M O X. You can get it on Amazon. You can get it on eBay. Uh, you can't find it anymore, apparently locally in your stores because what they've done is they used to have it on the shelves even like it at uh, Walmart and stuff. So many people that don't have insurance, don't have dental insurance and stuff are using this now. What else are you going to do? My husband uses it because we don't have the money. He needs dental work done massively. He's kind of in the same boat. He doesn't have the rate of infections that, that I did. But when he gets an abscess, that's what we put him on. You know, um, so yeah, fish mocks. Um, you know, uh, you can even Google that. A lot of people use it. You can also use it for your dog and your cats. Just Google in the appropriate amount. I've used it on, on mine. Um, you know, so anyway, but long story short, after I, after I got the super strong antibiotic, we have to be really careful how much antibiotics I take because I've been on so much all my life with bladder problems and stuff that, you know, I've become very resistant to most of them. Um, uh, that um, I got my dentures. I mean, the next oral surgery she did was just the, was just pulling the floor and my dentures were sitting right there and, and, and stuff. So they did go ahead, you know, I waited six months and let all my gums shrink, shrink down, uh, which was great for me because then I got a really good fit on those dentures. Um, and uh, then uh, uh, pulled these four, 
and I'm very happy. I can eat more food now that I have dentures than when I had all these broken off teeth and I was in so much pain and, and stuff. I actually gained some weight I, be, once I got my dentures because um, I could eat again. So anyway, that's my story. I'm not telling you to scare anybody. I'm just telling you. And if you aren't comfortable with your dentist and you don't agree with the things he's doing, fire him. Get a new one. They're not God either, just like doctors. If you're not if you're not getting along with a doctor and you, you don't feel like he's really, you know, proactive and really understands you, get a different one. Just keep finding finding them. I fired a lot of doctors my time, a lot of dentists. I love my dentist now. I love my my optometrist. I love my urinal physician. I'm gonna have to find all new ones when I move. But I know they're out there. So anyway. That's my story. Don't give up, but don't neglect taking care of an infection because it can cost you your life and cause your heart damage. It damages your kidney, your stomach, you know, your sinuses. You know, I mean, I've seen people before where they've got, you know, uh, especially if, if it's up on top of an abscess, it'll go into your eyes and your sinuses and stuff. So, anyway, love you guys and. Uh, like I said, get the fish mocks, because you can take it. You don't have to have a prescription. Google it. Do your own research. I'm not a doctor. I'm just saying what we do. Anyway, love you guys. Talk to you later. Bye.